Right now at 930, New York State's ban on plastic bags is now in effect. So exactly how are shoppers and businesses handling this new law? TV 1055's Nick Calloway went to find out. The new plastic bag ban is just a few hours old, and already Robinson Opont is not a fan. I don't think this is any, any better because uh, look at this. Just got it at the store. It ripped already? First step, first step out, and it's, it's already ripped. Then moments later, his paper bag ripped some more. Good Sunday. As customers adjust to the new law, many say already they miss plastic bags, even some who use carts to get their groceries home. With the plastic bags, you can carry them if you have, don't have enough space. With paper bags, you can't do that. Others don't mind the plastic ban and like to bring reusable bags. I use them, absolutely. I try to be more proactive. Meanwhile, some businesses also struggle with the new no plastic policy. Some say paper bags are in short supply. Business owners also worry about the cost because paper bags are more expensive than plastic. Some city leaders are hoping to make sure those in lower income neighborhoods are prepared for the new policy. It is our responsibility to connect New Yorkers who live on the poverty lines with the same resources that the middle class and upper class New Yorkers have. The plastic bag ban is aimed at reducing pollution. Experts say New York state residents use about 23 billion of them a year. Even some shoppers who prefer plastic to paper say something had to change. There is an inconvenience, but you gotta sacrifice something for the planet, right? As for that shopper whose paper bag ripped as soon as he left the store, he says he'll be bringing his reusable bag next time. In East Harlem, New York, Nick Calloway reporting. Poor guy, blueberries all over the sidewalk. City officials tell us that in the first month of this ban, they're going to focus more on education than enforcement. But beginning in April, businesses could face fines for violating the ban.